day, mortals. My name is Mika, and today I'm gonna be doing a bit of an epic armory costume haul unboxing. I ordered almost a complete costume for my husband. I'd previously made him an outfit, the Skyrim mages robes, and he wore them to Renfest. But last year at some point he was like, you need to get me a better costume. I look like a peasant. And I was like, yeah, I agree. So I went ahead and ordered him a Viking costume because that's what he wanted. He likes the Viking look and obviously I do too. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling things out of the box. So I actually found some Epic Armory pieces on Amazon and that's when I discovered that it's actually really, really cheap compared to everywhere else that isn't like a scam, like Wish or whatever. But I did go ahead and buy this whole outfit on the Epic Armory website because it is cheaper there. Here is the first item. Oh, I miss the smell of leather. Um, I did have that Epic Armory knife already, but I got that from the LARP box and I didn't realize how cheap Epic Armory was. I was like, wow, it's extremely cheap compared to the stuff that you can find like on Etsy and stuff. So anyway, this is just a pretty cool uh, black pouch. They only had the black ones in stock, but that's okay because black is my husband's color. I personally do not like black. I don't like the absence of color. I go with brown, but my husband's color so I got this large warrior bag this was about 27 I think I don't remember I just know that the whole thing came out to be about 227 ish and I think this was the $27 part here's the inside of the bag it's full of newspaper out of here. Yeah, it's definitely uh, cheaper leather than let's say like Ravenswood leather, but uh, it's it's a cute style. It's a good size. It can definitely hold a lot of stuff, I think. Uh, I got another pouch and um, this one was only $12 and I got the large, but I was not expecting it to be this big. I mean, it's literally bigger than my head, but I'd rather the pouch be too big than too small, you know. Ryan just really needs something to hold his phone in and another one to hold like his money and stuff. That's a big ass pouch. I was not expecting it to be that big. It's got that like suede -y. it's not suede, but that inside leather texture. I forget the official term for that. So there's that. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this uh, shirt next. So I got this tunic. It's a uh, Viking style tunic in a size medium. It is a brown one. I'll definitely show it at a better angle than this. I forget how much this was. I'll put it somewhere on the screen. But it's definitely that kind of uh, linen fabric. Not quite as good as like, let's say the Zutsu fabric, um, but it's still pretty good. I'll see what it looks like on in just a minute. And next we have this chest plate or cuirass or whatever you want to call it. This is a leather chest piece. Oh, this smells so good. So yeah, I definitely got the black one because that's Ryan's color. And it's that like softer uh, inside of the leather texture again. <laughs> and then I got greaves. I think these are the greaves and not the bracers. Yeah, these are the greaves. They match the breastplate and they are going to go around his legs, above his boots. And the last thing, that I bought are the bracers. This is what they look like. They match the other two pieces of armor. They all have this uh, like brass rivets and you know other hardware buckles and all that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put her down and try all this stuff on on me so I can give a proper review and then hopefully when my husband gets home, I can actually get him to wear it for you. So I'll be right back. All right, I am here with Ryan for probably the first time on my channel and he's already wearing the uh, tunic that I got for him. This fabric is a pretty good fabric, pretty good quality. Let's see if there's a, a label on here. I'm not seeing uh, what the actual fabric is, but I would assume it's some sort of cotton. It's very uh, primitive feeling and it's a good standard uh, tunic. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on him. Um, this is the breastplate or the cuirass or whatever you call it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on him now. And then it has these 
straps on the sides and on the uh, shoulder plates. I'm just going to buckle those up. All right, so here it is on him, and I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, it's not the best quality leather, but you do get what you pay for. And this was $65, which is actually very cheap for what it is. The other ones we were looking at that we were wanting to get were like over $800. So it's definitely a good price. I actually really like this look because it looks like a Sinawa's armor from the Hell uh, Hellblade 2 trailer. All right, and here's what the back of this chest piece looks like. Come on, Mike, get it together. Sorry about my face if it gets overexposed. Um, so here's the back with all the strap. Um, the straps look a little bit untamed, in my opinion. I mean, not that it needs to be tamed per se because uh, he's a Viking, but uh, we definitely could um, cut these if we needed to. There might be some places where we could kind of tuck it in, but. That's basically what the back looks like. Let's go ahead and put on the bracers now. Hello, light. Um, the buckles are gonna go on the outside. This one goes on that arm. I'm just going to tighten the straps like this. Yeah, these bracers, I put them on earlier. They're honestly not the most comfortable thing in the world. So that's basically what they look like on him. I really do like the style of the bracers. Now, here's a close up of the bracers. What I don't like about these is that in the little like cracks here, put like this six in the light. There's like what looks like some glue residue right here and right here. I think that's what that is. <laughs> Especially like right here, it looks like a light almost a like an ashy gray color but you can't really tell unless you're looking like really close up on it that one's not as bad all right next we're going to put on the greaves so again the buckles are going to go on the outside i would assume all right it's going to go on something like that around the shin all right there are his greaves um i think they look pretty good i really like the style of them here they are up close um they look really good but they have kind of the same problem as the uh, bracers there's some spots in between in the cracks there's a spot right here let me try to focus on that you see that um that glue right there it looks like it's starting to peel yeah, that's a pretty major problem in my opinion. I guess they wanted to glue it down so that it had a little bit more stability um, rather than just the rivets, but um, it's kind of unacceptable that the glue is peeling off so easily. I mean, we just got these and these, all this glue is just peeling off. But um, hopefully that doesn't mean that these will come apart after a day of Runfest because they look really good. I really like the overall look to them and the uh, the style they look very biking just like the rest of the armor hi baby all right here is the uh smaller pouch even though it's overall size it's pretty huge this was a uh, 12 dollar pouch he's gonna go ahead and put this around his belt and then here is the other pouch this was the 30 dollar pouch um i guess this could be for like a money and wallet and stuff if you want you can put this on the other side or now he has his pouches on turn this way so there's this one <laughs> you can't even really see it in the camera hopefully you'll be able to see it better on uh, on youtube but it's huge i think it's way bigger than i was expecting it to be and here's the other one i actually really like this pouch a lot i think it looks really good it just it would take an extra minute to undo it so I figured you could put your phone in the other pouch right. and this could be like your safer stuff, like your money. So then it has this little flap of leather. You can even see that on the camera. Then I'll just kind of sit on top and keep your stuff from falling out. So do you like this? Is it good enough to keep? I do. And not a 
return it, which I don't think you could return it anyway, because I don't think you can return it after you opened it. But yeah. I'll go ahead and um, cut off all the tags. All right, so that's the full costume I got this time around. Eventually, we'll get him a, a weapon. You said you wanted dueling uh, short swords. Mm -hmm. Oh, the dope! Look at your bike in. <laughs> you can barely fit in the frame. I really like the the brown on the black. I mean, that was like in the in the pictures with this tunic. This is what the guy was wearing, just different uh, greaves. He was wearing the blazers, but. All right, so overall, um, for the price of everything, it's really good. I think it's really worth it. Um, the only major complaint I have are the spots that have like the, the glue uh, starting to peel. But besides that, I don't mind that the quality of the leather isn't top notch because it was really cheap. I mean, the, the bracers were like $27, the grades were like $30. The chest piece was like $65 versus the $800 chess pieces so pretty good um definitely worth it if you're a normal regular person who can't afford eight hundred dollar curuses or however you pronounce that word i like it 10 out of 10. <laughs> i think like eight out of ten just because of the the glue but eight out of ten that'll leave a little room um, for improvement yeah epic armory um is definitely uh good for affordable garb so let me guys know what you think of this Viking outfit. Let me guys know what you think of Epic Armory in general. This is definitely going to be his guard for a while. Um, if we can ever afford the, the really expensive stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.